Hi everyone. Yeah. Today we have Mr. Sudipta Biswas, who is the author of Tulsidas Balram, The Boy, The Hero, The Tormented Footballer, published by Havakal Publisher. I had the good fortune of meeting Mr. Biswas at the fifth edition of Ekamra Sports Literary Festival, where he was on the panel with former captain of Indian football team, Mr. Victor, Victor Amalraj, former footballer and Dhyan Chand awardee, Mr. Shabi Rali, and the program was moderated by senior journalist G. Rajaraman. Mr. Biswas also won the Biography of the Year Award for the book. In that session, Mr. Biswas shared many valuable insights on the legendary footballer, his influence on Indian football, and his legacy. But this interview is not about the book or the legend. In the biography, Mr. Biswas described the legendary footballer uh, Tulsidas Balram's journey in three stages. One, as a boy who fought against insurmountable odds to play football and get selected in Indian football team. Second stage, as a hero who not only was uh, selected in Olympics game, but also won the gold medal at the 1962 Asian Games for Indian cricket, uh, for the Indian football team, and as a tormented footballer. Likewise, this interview is about the author, Sudipta Biswas, the boy, the journalist, and the biographer. So let's hear more from him. Good afternoon, Mr. Biswas. Welcome to this interview. I'm so thankful that you agreed to be a part of this interview. Now, please tell a bit about your journey and your entry into sports journalism. We would want you to know as a boy and as a journalist who wrote this wonderful book. Hello, Saurabh. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me on this platform. So, yeah. Uh, so, my journey, uh, so the, it was all about uh, my passion, about uh, my passion to become a journalist. So with that, it, this journey had begun. So it began when I was just finishing my uh, 12th. So at that time, I was planning uh, so what I should choose as my career. So then I uh, choose journalism. And uh, that's how uh, I started my journey in journalism. Uh, I had studied journalism. I mean, I pursued graduation at uh, the college in Kolkata. It's called Pirati Minalinizatta Mahavidyapit. So there I completed my graduation. After that, I uh, went for a PG diploma course at IIMC, Indian Institute of Mass Communication. So so I, I went to IIMC Ijol Center. So it is now known as IIMC Northeast. So uh, it's in, I mean, in, in the hill of Mizoram. So there, when I went, uh, I saw that people in Mizoram are crazy about football. So I got my first exposure, I got to know, uh, and I got to see football, I got to cover football, even though I was starting there. And it was very easy. It was not that difficult, like uh, you have to pass through all the securities, all the formalities uh, to cover a game uh, in, a, in a cosmopolitan city. But in Mizoram, it's a, uh, I mean, very easy to go to the match and watch everything even training you can watch regularly you can cover matches if even if you wish to and uh, there uh, I, I i can still remember vividly that uh, i was watching a <clears throat> i don't know which match but maybe d8 tau trophy d8 tau trophy uh, it was named after india's first uh, football team captain dr d8 tau so he used to play for mohan bagan and he also captained the indian team at the 1948 olympics so that was the tournament dedicated to the northeastern teams, state teams. So I saw the players. So that's how my passion for football began. Even though I was earlier when I was young, so I was just following East Bengal Mohan Bagan as people in Kolkata do, or say people in West Bengal do. So that's how my passion grew. And I, uh, regarding my subject, Tulsidas Badram, I, I had heard a lot about him that he was a legend. He played along with to other legendary Indian footballers, Chuni Goswami and P.K. Banerjee. But when I was writing this book, I, my initial plan was not writing about Tulsidas Balram. Uh, I was I was in Hyderabad at that time. So my plan was to write a book on Hyderabadi footballers. 
the forgotten uh, footballers but the forgotten football culture of uh, hyderabad so there are a lot of good stories to write about hyderabad football still some of the fascinating things are uh, there you so many people can explore whoever interested even i do i'm not sure even in future if, if i am interested i can explore those things so actually hyderabad is full of uh, uh, sports culture uh, it's not only about football football has died but then there are other sports to explore but the point is that uh, when i was interacting with so many footballers and then i came across a chance when i could interact with tulsidas balaram and tulsidas balaram suddenly opened up to me unexpected that was unexpected moment for me then he opened up to me gradually we uh, talked we discussed on the subject a lot of times that's how we started but my journey with journalism started with like it was just a career choice what i should do and then it uh, turned out to be uh, my passion and uh, i started writing i start i like writing the writing form of journalism is my favorite i don't like anything else so uh, that's how i started exploring and exploring writing and i fall in love with the writing that's how it has been uh, so far so if we talk about the book it is very well researched extensively researched about your subject matter and it also shows the strong research skills that you have along with the writing skills so how long it did it take for you to write the entire book so it took me 4 years uh, to be precise maybe uh, i started in the middle of the pandemic so just after finishing my first book uh on uh, my first book mission goal that was uh, that i had written on india's perform uh, india's actual olympic campaign in the in the last 100 years india first participated at the olympics in 1920 1920 means the indian uh, the native indian people not uh, like britishers who, uh, who used to live here and they represented india so but the first original indians or the native indians participated at the olympics in 1920 so considering the fact that 2020 was supposed to be the tokyo uh, time for the tokyo olympics so keeping that in mind uh, my book came in 2020 after that i was looking for a subject so it was then i think it was in july or august uh, i started writing or say writing is a, like the last stage of doing one thing pursuing a book uh, a non fiction particularly so first of all you have to research about the subject you have to find all the materials you have to talk to the uh, concerned people or the uh, familiar people with the subject and subject is very old it's kind of uh, uh, his part of history of indian football and uh, when i am working on that i need to do lot of research on the subject so getting only few quotes or few interviews from people or uh, getting their first hand experience was not enough i had to find out all the details regarding the, the kind of matches they played uh, all those old memories all those old incidents so i had to dig deep and uh, to find that i needed time a lot of time like that's why it took 4 years and uh, i even i I'm, i'm fortunate that it took 4 years not more than that so i could uh, finish the book so yeah that's it like it took four years for me it was exhausting journey uh, but at the end of the day i could come up with the book it was frustrating to so at some points like i was not able to uh, come up with the materials that i needed at the right time so even for a small piece of information i had to contact people and those people uh, whom i contacted they also did not have this kind of information because we are not always talking about these are not contemporary information these are the information which are old and some of that what happened in indian football the difficult part is that you will not find the uh, details i mean if you want to research on a particular subject uh, you will not find the details easily so uh, as you can in indian cricket or say or in other sports but it is not possible in indian football and also there are a lot of Uh, things which are uh, i should say like if, if you cross check then only you find that those things are wrong but uh, in indian football it is also very difficult to cross check the facts that this person is saying this but whether it is correct or not it's very very difficult to find the 
correctness of the or the truthness of the fact. So that was also a difficult phase for me, but I had to deal with it. And uh, I'm I'm very fortunate. I I should say I'm very lucky that I could access the, all the documents that I uh, needed, so that I could cross check all those things. People are claim making uh, claims that these had happened in Indian football. Some of the things which need needed to be cross checked. So uh, I. I'm, I'm I'm very lucky that I could do that. In fact, you answered my my next question was about the difficulties and the challenges that you faced while writing the book, and it you answered it yourself. Now, uh, if we, I mean, uh, after overcoming the agonies, the challenges, uh, let's talk about the ecstasies. Since its release, the book has received rave reviews from various publications and sports journals. It also has won many prestigious awards. In fact, I also witnessed, uh, I had the good fortune of witnessing uh, that at the Ecambra Sports Literary Festival. But out of all accolades, if we sum up all the accolades, what was the most special for you? And meanwhile, I'll be sharing the screen to show the awards and the reviews that the book has garnered so far. Please, Mr. Biswas. Yeah, I, I should say all the accolades are special to me because uh, you can't uh, discriminate on those things. Because uh, this thing, uh, I, the first review I got uh, from uh, a renewal journalist is famous. Uh, I got it from Vijay Lakhwali. He's a very senior journalist, used to work with the Hindu. He covered so many World Cups. And he himself said that uh, this book needs to be reviewed. He read the book. So <clears throat> then he, he did that review. And uh, that I like. Then uh, Abhijit Shengupta. Abhijit Shengupta uh, is actually, he edited the book. So in a very short time. So he was also, uh, he had the time bandwidth. So he, he had to edit the book in a very short time. But uh, I, I, I'm very, very, I'm very thankful to him that he also come up with the review. He has also come up with a review, and that's what I also like. And it's also, so I can't discriminate on, on all those things. Like he has done one review, then there is another person, uh, Shubhroda. So he is also a journalist based in Kolkata. He has also done a review in Bengali. So, and of course, the accolades uh, I received from people. So these are oral uh, uh, appreciation of the book. Many people say many things, but first of all, among all these things, I should I am very thankful to my publisher. They always uh, say good things about the books, and they have made some predictions about the books about what is going to happen in future, or I should expect in future, not in uh, in a, a very short time, but in a long term. In long term, like uh, twenty years, thirty years. I'm just saying for the sake of saying, just as they say it, as you have asked me. So, but I can't discriminate on all these things, like uh, which appreciation I like the most. All the appreciation matters because the book is not about uh, one uh, one person's review or two person's review. It matters a lot, like if all the persons are review and giving uh, feedbacks, whether it is positive, negative, or criticism or praise. It doesn't matter. And, uh... and of course, like uh, and going to the Ikamra Sports Literature Festival and uh, uh, getting a chance to share the dias with uh, Shabir Ali and Victor Ramal as two legendary footballers. And the moderator was G. Rajaraman. He is a senior journalist and uh, also renowned in Indian sports uh, domain. So getting a chance to uh, share the story of the biography and of my uh, journey with the with writing the biography, it's a pleasure. It's a uh, I mean, rare chance for me, I got, and then I could uh, uh, share all the details that I had with me. And I I mean, it was a good chance. So all these things mattered. Uh, all these things were important to me. I uh, I liked it. I mean, I can't express it in words. I mean, it's whatever I say, it will not be enough. So, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Now, you, you mentioned your publisher. So... Did you already have the publisher before you wrote the book or you found uh, the publisher uh, after, I mean, uh, after writing the book and so how was it? 
Yeah, so uh, regarding finding a publisher, I never tried or never looked for a publisher because uh, that will shift my focus to like finding a publisher and publishing a book. So that was not my idea. Uh, so my idea was to write a book so which uh, for which I will need my own time. It may take two years, three years. I I, I was not aware about the fact that how, mu how many years it will took me. As I say that it took me four years, but I was not aware about this fact that I will end up uh, within four years. So it could have taken two, three more years, or it could I could have finished uh, uh, finished it up within two years or one years. So I was not aware about this. I just have uh, taken up the subject. Just uh, I failed for the subject, and because uh, he was one such a legendary footballer, but nobody has written about, about him. And uh, why, uh, like people, if, if people are talking about people are praising him, he is such a great footballer. Then why his name is coming after two other legendary footballers? So that's a when I was writing this book, this was kind of a social social biases. So like two other other footballers, uh, there are also attempts and initiatives to portray that those two footballers are greater than this footballer. And uh, there are also attempts that this footballer, footballer is greater than the two other footballers, so which is not true. It's about all about like they played together and they fulfilled each other's uh, uh, skills. They have their own uh, weakness also. So when they play together in a team sport, so when you play together, then you become each other's, uh, I mean, each other's, in each other's, uh, in whatever you do, you complete each other. So you can't say that he is greater than this player and uh, that player is greater than Balaram. You can't say that. But that is the culture and that is the thing people like uh, about sports. You can't deny that fact also. Uh, so uh, my idea was why nobody has written a book on this person. If so, he is such a great person and he is living in... He was living in Kolkata at that time. So that's how I started. That is With that idea, I started my book. That was just my idea. But after that, uh, coming up with all this, as I said earlier, that I needed a lot of time to research. I, I had to dig deep on uh, where I should find the information that I'm looking for. So considering all these uh, things, finding a publisher before publishing, before finishing the book, uh, I think I, I don't think that would have been a very good idea or a uh, ideal thing for me to do. Uh, because that would have uh, that could have created a pressure on me also. Like uh, the publisher could have asked me when I'm going to finish up the book and uh, oh, when they will publish uh, it. This thing would have happened. So uh, I did not want to involve in that. Uh, and when I finished uh, finished up the book, then only I have approached the publisher and uh, that's how they also took it up and published it. But at the same time, there are publishers who uh, want to reject it. <laughs> so, and also give me ideas like uh, this book will not work and this book will not, not many people will read because uh, they have their own business or they have their own profit to make. Uh, but I'm very lucky and I'm also grateful to Hagal Publishers and uh, uh, that they have agreed to publish the book without thinking all those things. Uh, so that is, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I, I should say I'm lucky. Indeed. Uh, I also uh, experienced the book uh, at the Ikamru Literary Festival. Also, it has, uh, the book has also got its way, uh, got its place in some of the reputed libraries in uh, uh, bookstores and libraries in uh, Kataka and Bhubaneswar, uh, here also in locally. So uh, the book is a very well-made book. I mean, the content, apart from the content part, uh, if we uh, see the overall, they say that don't judge a book by its cover, but, uh, but the truth is cover also matters a lot. So it also goes to the credit. That is true. It's true. So uh, pub uh, the credit also goes to the publishers, the layout and everything that the binding, starting from the binding to the everything, it comes with a package and the book is a complete package. So how has the, has the life changed uh, after that, uh, post the release of the book? The life has not changed much. Right now I'm living uh, 
at my village so which is like around 70 kilometers from kolkata so i like living in my village only i don't like city culture not i should not say culture i should say like i don't like the atmosphere or the environment but what about so the that's why what I, about the literary festivals and the uh, symposiums the conclaves that you have been invited uh, i i believe it must have go gotten a little bit busier and a little more hectic also like uh, before the release of this book the awards uh, and uh, you know the no literature. so the ikamra ikamra was the only liter uh, literature festival that i, that I uh, had attended so after that uh, after that you uh, you do chandigarh Chandigarh was was one of my uh, that was a professional commitment. So because of my professional assi uh, assignment, that because of that I went there. So it has nothing to do with with my book. <clears throat> I see. Ikamda was the only literature festival I had attended. I see. And of course, like uh, even though I'm 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 living uh, in a rural setup, uh, so uh, there are liter literature festivals in Kolkata, in and around Kolkata. I I will always go there. Because I like books and I always like exploring books and reading books, new books, especially sports books. So <clears throat> everywhere I go, even uh, whether it is a city or whether it is a town, so I'll go and look for a library. I look for a place where I'll uh, get books. Uh, it does not matter whether the book is old or the new books, it does not matter to me. I always look for books which I can read. And I must say the book is so beautifully made and so beautifully written, so beautifully crafted, handcrafted it is. And I will urge, uh, because I I myself uh, was not a very big uh, sports, uh, you know, uh, sports books uh, book lover. Uh, I had the good chance of uh, uh, getting uh, Ganguly Saurav Das uh, book also Yuvraj Singh's book, but I could never fin complete it. But now, right now I am reading this book and I'm sure I'm hooked to it. And I'll be going back to the place that I am reading it. It, it is not present with me as of now, but I think uh, I'm considering getting it. Also, I'll complete this book. I have so far not completed Saurabh Das book or Yuvraj Singh's book, but I'm quite sure I'll complete this book. And I thank you so, so very much for writing this book, for uh, letting the world know who Tulsi Das Balram Ji was. Uh, he unfortunately passed on very recently, the, the last year only, February. Um, it was unfortunate, but you uh, immortalized him by writing this book. That I must say, at least he got uh, to see his book before he left this world. And that's a big thing, big, big, big thing that you did for uh, countless football lovers, for to him also. You dedicated him in the most, uh, in the best possible manner, I, I can say this. So thank you very much, Mr. Biswas, for this interview. And I could see why you chose to wrote about this subject, because, you know, uh, you saw some reflection of Mr. of Tulsidas Balramji in your life also. I mean, that's a kind of, you know, uh, think and uh, I'm looking forward. Yeah, the idea was that see, uh, in Indian football, as I said, so most of the things uh, are now forgotten. We remember only the good things uh, that India uh, that Indian football uh, has produced. We only remember the good things. So after a few years or say after a few decades, people will not even remember that. So it will be difficult. Because you can't blame them that they will not remember it because so the informations on Indian football are not available. Information, even though it is available, it is not reliable. You can't claim uh, this is the hard truth about Indian football. This is uh, wrong about Indian football. The information people are spreading. You can't say it is wrong. You can't say it is uh, right or true. So... Uh, and see, like Tulsi Das Balram is a legendary footballer. So, and uh, he was unearthed or spotted by a legendary football coach called Shayad Abdul Rahim. So, he was a great coach. So nowadays, it is great. It is India after his after after his passing. India did not see another football another football coach like him. 
and uh, that's unfortunate so if you if if we if we don't write about this uh, about these people about Ushudas Balaram, then people will never. Uh, I mean, after after say after fifty years or a hundred years, people will not uh, will get to know about who is Ushudas Balaram, who is uh, Shayad Abdul Rahim. Yeah, we have we have people in Kolkata have written a lot about in Kolkata football and Kol footballers who are based in Kolkata, but. Uh, if you if you go to Hyderabad, if you go to Mumbai, if you go to or any South South Indian cities, so there are a lot of good footballers. Not good would be like um, I mean understatement. So there are a lot of great great footballers. So nowadays nobody talks nobody talks about them because we don't write about them often. We do, don't talk about them often. So they are gradually getting forgotten. Even Many of them are for, already are forgotten them. So Tulsi Das Bandaram is still remembered in Kolkata, but I'm not sure even if you ask footballers or even if you ask uh, like a journalist, a modern journalist, you, they will come up with the question, who is he? So if you don't, this is part of like social science, football or sports is part of social science. If you don't remember your past, you will, you will never become great in, in your I mean, contemporary form. So look at Indian football at the current form. It is at the sports sports shape. And the time when Tushar Balaram played or Juni Goswami or P.K. Banerjee played, they played together. And there are other, these are the not three footballers. Whenever people talk about uh, Indian football, uh, the so, so golden days of Indian football, people only talk about Juni Goswami, P.K. Banerjee, Tushar Balaram. There are other legendary footballers like Janal Singh, Yusuf Khan. So there are so many names. Neville D'Souza. <clears throat> so, like, apart from these two, three footballers, the rest of the footballers are now forgotten. So, if you don't write about them, if, if they are not, if their lives are not documented, they will be forgotten. People will never remember them. Yeah. I so agree with you. So, I agree with you, Mr. Biswas. So, um, on that note, uh, let's let's hope that we keep all the great, all the legendary uh, footballers in in our not only in our memories or in our uh, you know just uh, do them a lift service, but also to take uh, our country where it deserves to be, a a, a nation of one point four billion population, and we only have a handful of names in when it comes to sports. So the idea is of writing this uh, biography or, you know, uh, co-writing uh, the memoir of some uh, sporting legends should not be only to confine it as a, just as a, their accounts, but also to take our country where, I mean, the glory days it has seen and also uh, what the youth, what the younger population can aspire to be from the from their uh, ancestors, like from the legends. They can take a leaf uh, out of their uh, lesson and uh, can aspire to be like that. So on that note, we conclude this interview. Mr. Biswas, thank you so very much. Thank you. For being a part of this. Thank you so very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs>